A 3D printed roll-up blind? Is that even possible? Well, yes, sort of. <laughs> Hi, I'm Flux and my mission is to entertain and inspire you with my DIY videos. But this channel is fairly new and to get it really started I need your help. Please, please give me a subscribe or maybe a thumbs up if you like this video. And now I will show you how I made my roller blind. <laughs> I had the Fluxing logo printed on a tarp to hang it in front of my window as a roller blind. Unfortunately you can't buy a roller blind with your own design and I thought it was too expensive to buy a suitable roller blind just to disassemble it, especially since I still had a chain from an old roller blind. So I used SketchUp to reconstruct the mechanism. To explain that in detail takes too long here, but I will happily make a SketchUp tutorial if you want me to. All files for the roller blind can be downloaded from fluxing.de. Now I have printed the designed parts with my 3D printer. This takes a while of course. By the way, I have a very inexpensive 3D printer, but it does the job very well. I give you a link in the description. I trimmed a broomstick with 24mm diameter to the correct length. Now we need hot glue. Pro tip, while the hot glue gun is heating up, you can eat some cookies. I can easily do half a pack in that time. The caps are glued to the broom handle. I temporarily fixed the top to the stick with tape. It still is, by the way. The edge of the top must be exactly straight. Maybe I should have marked this. The top is rolled up and fixed. Now the two brackets are screwed on. Don't forget washers inside and outside. I designed the brackets with holes to screw them to the wall. But since I have smooth basement walls, I am pretty lazy and the hot glue is still hot, I simply glued the bracket to the wall. That seems to work very well. And that's how the roller blind works. But it's still very wavy. I thought it might hang straighter if I stuck an old wooden strip to the bottom as a weight. Was a silly idea. Ah! In the local hardware store, I bought a clamping profile for about two euros. I pushed it onto the lower edge of the tub from the side. But be careful, if it slips out, it only helps to start from the beginning. I made a pencil mark on my second attempt to see if the top slipped away. Now only solve the surplus end of the profile. Well, that's looking pretty good. You see, a 3D printer is really handy when it comes to printing things that you just don't have at hand at that moment. Uh, so, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. I will try to answer as soon as possible. And with that, I have nothing more to say than see you next time. Bye. <laughs>